I think it's time for a nice authentic one take for all of you that watch and for myself mainly. Uh, I've been watching a lot of the tragedy and, and I took a big break from the internet. I went you know, to VidCon and went on a, I'm going on a conference trip right now. I just took a time to watch some news and then kind of shut off because I think I don't think shutting an issue and not looking at it is the solution to solving issues. It's just sometimes good to pick positive environments to be. And that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about a parallel uh, that has to do with empathy and vulnerability. And with why watch Tess's video and Hank's video on a kinder internet and thinking about that. So I want to talk about this parallel. So these two movies, uh, The Good Dinosaur and How to Train Your Dragon 1, that have two scenes that are very, very similar and have a similar lesson on empathy and vulnerability. If you haven't seen those, spoilers. Uh, but here's what I want to talk about. So Arlo and Hiccup, in the movie, both come to a situation where they have an expectation placed upon them by their culture. It's Well, really, with Arlo, it's his father, right? He has to make his mark. Or really, his father wants him to make a mark that he agrees with, uh, that his father wants him to make, not that Arlo makes himself. And Hiccup needs to kill a dragon to be a Viking to sort of, not that it comes off that way, but to sort of be valuable in the society, he has to kill a dragon. So, the kid gets captured, and Arlo's in front of it with a stick, and Hiccup hits down Toothless with his machine and comes to a point where he's about to kill Toothless as well. He's like, this is all because of you. I'm going to kill you now to become a Viking. I need to do it. I need to be strong. And they both don't do it. They both reach a point at which they can't do it because of something. And I think the lesson here is that they were both able to see themselves, and Hiccup even says it at the end of the movie. He says, I, I'm i the first Viking that couldn't kill, that wouldn't kill a dragon. And he tells Astrid that he saw himself in the other. He saw himself, he looked as scared as I was. Both those situations, and Arlo releases the kid. Arlo cuts the rope and the kid gets away, and that's when his father gets pissed and they chase after the kid. And if you've seen the movie, you know what happens after that. My point is, when it comes to empathy and compassion, I think it's really important to see yourself in something that you don't think can provide any value for you. Hiccup, that was the perfect situation for Hiccup to kill a dragon. That dragon was at its weakest point. It couldn't fly. It was trapped. It couldn't get away. And yet he still didn't do it because one of his core values, I guess, was seeing himself in something as weak as the dragon. And Arlo probably saw the fear and the resignation in the kid when it, when he was in the net and he had the stick and he set him free instead of killing him. I think it's easy to get angry and reactive and to separate and to label and not be aware, I guess, of interconnectedness of how everything is a part of everything else. Like even with insects that I see, like a spider, you know, that's a living thing. That thing has life. That thing, it may not be at the same level of awareness as us. But it's, 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 it's as well something that struggles, that, that has to survive, that has to thrive through its own, its own struggle. And while on the internet, because we label things, because we don't have person-to-person -person communication, I think video is better than just text because we can see and hear and see facial expressions, more communication. You don't get that strong of a communication, I guess, on the internet. And I agree really greatly with Hank that leaders of communities... For example, I'm going to a conference for another community. It's a good good timing. Is that I think our focus should be on creating communities and and making sure I think that the values of community stay consistent because I know it, it the world is so complicated and there's so much noise. There's so much noise going on. It's hard to hear people and it's easy to shout and get angry and feel like you have to do what's terrible to win and get heard. And that's not productive getting angry even if something is is or not, is not true getting angry doesn't doesn't help and seeing other people as as not valuable because they can't do anything for you what like what is that's so crazy to me to see people as less than they are or more than they are and to see someone else that's intrinsically valuable as you as inferior inherently because or, or not valuable because they can't do anything for you so that parallel between those two movies is really important to me. Uh, even even in Harry Potter, I thought of as well, Sirius Black talks about, if you want to see a person's character, I, this is a quote from somebody in history too. I'm not sure on that. 
but you look at how people treat their inferiors, not because they're less valuable, but because they don't think they're labeled as something that can't provide any value to you. Hiccup didn't see dragons as something he could grow and nurture and build a relationship with Toothless. Look how much it changed Burke culture overall. He changed the whole Burke culture from one decision that he made that felt wrong. You know, he did the wrong thing expectation-wise of the culture for the right reason. That's amazing. And then Arlo, look at what Arlo did. He chose the wrong thing to do. I mean, ultimately, it was it, he wanted his father wanted him to face his fear, right? To to face his fear head on and learn from his fear, but it was a, I think it was a, a fear of connection. It wasn't so much a, a fear of not a fear of not being able to kill the kid. It's the fear of being vulnerable, of seeing yourself and things that you don't think can provide any value to you, and that's you know being empathetic and, and realizing everybody struggles and faces reality. That's really, really important to me. So I'm going to go to a conference today and I'm going to help build a community that I've been a part of for almost a decade now. And I think that's what we should be doing, building communities that have the inherent same values but still accept the differences of others. And it's always complicated. It's, it's hard. It's easy to get angry. It's easy. So that's my thought for you today. In this six minute and tw- 20, six minute, 30 second one take. I make long one takes. Hope you got through it. Hope you enjoyed it. It's a long one. But, you know, put the value out there. Make videos for myself just to share a perspective and parallel that I've been thinking. It's cool when you read something in a book or you read a lesson in a book and then you go to a different piece or a different piece of art and you see the lesson in the same, in the same, like different, different outside, same context, same fundamental truth. I love when that happens. Uh, keep being you at DFTBA. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy what you're doing. Uh, yeah. Everybody pocket.